on today's video we are at Ritidian Beach this paradise island called Ritidian let me show you how I got here let's go as you saw, we're in Retidian today. It's gonna to be my first time checking out Retidian Beach. They just recently reopened since Maywar. I just typed in Retidian Beach on Google Maps to find the way here. We're gonna go ahead and show you the sights and sounds and of course the nature center and the beautiful beach of Retidian. So come with, let's check it out. All right, one of the places before you hit Retidian is this actual cool uh, sightseeing point. It's right near the sign. There's also another sign there. There's parking over here. We're gonna go ahead and check that out and show you Retidian Point. Uh, scenic view. Most people, they just skip this and they go to the one with the road where you can see the cool sights. But I recommend you stop by and peep this out too. It's not a far walk, just this very short trail to a very awesome scenic view of Retidian Point here on Guam. There also used to be like a sign over here, but I guess since Maywar, it's probably gone. They do have this sign. Here you go, Retidian Wildlife. What can you see? What are the birds? What are the insects? And what are all the cool uh, endangered species that they have here? Take only pictures, leave only footprints. So you always gotta leave it better than you came. Just remember that. Guam National Wildlife Refugee here in Guam, uh, Retidian. This is actually in Jigo uh, and it's open 7.30 to 4 p.m. Wednesday through Sunday. Enjoy your refuge, protect your refuge. Here you go, let's go check out the beautiful sights. Welcome to Jurassic, Park. I mean, uh, Retidian Point. Yeah, there's also that road that trails all the way down. We're gonna head down there too. But as you can see, these are one of the, I think they're called Ababong, Ababong uh, butterflies. Yeah, they have it right here. Ababa, Ababang, Ababang. Our butterflies. These are, I'm not sure if it says. They're called blue banded king crow butterfly. Ababang. There's also black tip reef sharks in the water and again, turtles. What else is there? Hermit crab, duck duck crabs, and a beautiful reef. But over there, you can see. The cool butterflies. They also have these uh, orange butterflies, which are I'm not sure the name. Mariana's butterfly. They have a famous plant on Guam and Saipan, which is called noni. They have the noni plant over here. It's a noni tree right here. Cool. Right near this scenic view, we have the one that's uh, very popular with people and they post this a lot. The cliff line view with these uh, barriers on the road. You're not supposed to stop, but this view here is what you always see in a lot of people's edits for Retidian. Um, wildlife Refuge. This is the nature center. We're gonna go ahead and check it out and see what it's about. So the hill is kind of crazy, swerves and nerves and all this stuff and it leads you to this nature center right over here. Look at that, you can see all the butterflies. There's also some information about the trees and uh, we're not going to go into the beach yet, later uh, yet but we'll go there soon. That is cool. Look at the butterflies, Mikael. Yo, catch a butterfly. It's Lolo. <laughs> All right, let's go check out this nature center here at Retinian Beach, Jigo, Guam. Oh, the entrance is around. You gotta go around. Sorry, <laughs> let me redo that. Oh, there. <laughs> this is the entrance for the nature uh, uh, refuge, the nature center here at uh, Retinian Beach. I don't. I just want to see what it's all about. Oh wow, this is like a museum, it's pretty cool. Let's go check it out. Come in, you gotta sign in. We're gonna go ahead and show you this virtual tour around here. We're gonna already hear the birds. Uh, yeah, I'm just signing in the sign-in sheet. 
but this is the Guam National Wildlife Refugee uh, Refuge uh, Nature Center here in Jigo, Brittany, and Guam. Conservation, inspiring wildlife, wondrous communities, and enduring. Ah, we'll go ahead and show you a virtual tour of this here in Guam. So this one has marine habitat. It gives you a heads up of what's in the waters of Retidian. As you can see, there's like, I think that's barracuda, and then all the clownfish. There's even a cool turtles and cool. This is, this is there's manta rays and stuff, flying fish. That's cool. This is like a little uh, museum before look, you head into Retidian. The sun is super hyped on the birds. But yeah, so. A little cool museum. They also show you, uh, I guess there is fishermen, like fishermen are allowed here, I'm not so sure. Tool made for scaling and skinning animals. That's very interesting. It's out of like, it looks like a clam. These are the turtles that you can see. Luau, red-footed booby. Uh, Dulili, Pacific Golden plow, Plover. plover. A fahang, brown, naughty, chunge, white tern, and of course, umang, hermit crab. They even have some little cool displays of birds and stuff. Look at that. Beach strand. Oh, some views of Tumon. Oh, beach litter, abandoned truck. Yeah, that's kind of true. Well, I'm kind of, that's where we failed on. Oh, you can also hear like the waves crashing. Then they also have this small pictograph. You can hear the waves. Oh, there's even some cool laddie stones over there. And more. This one is actually Tangisen. This is the Tangisen uh, power plant. There's some cave graffiti. Cane toads. Not sure. Non native stuff. There's some spears. I forgot to show you this one. There's even some uh, farmers who brought taro, breadfruits, and more. Nope. Limestone forest. There's the, this is the crow that you always see in Tumon. It attacks runners. Very interesting. <laughs> Very funny. But I do, every other day I see, I see these black crows attack people walking in Tumon. Oh, there's even like a Hilatia, Hilati? I forgot what's that called. Let's go see if it's here. It's like a monitor lizard that you'll see on the, the Retidian. There's even a yellow paper wasp that they have down there. And of course this feral pig. And there's also local vegetables that you could find over there at the Retinian or at this reserve here. Look at that. And it's over here. You could push these buttons for the sound of the animals. <laughs> That's how I was there. <laughs> just, I was amazed with the sounds, the sounds of the birds. So you can hear the... Yeah. That's how the chic... Yeah. Kingfisher sounds. That's the, the crow, the, the sound of the kingfisher. And the cuckoo railbird. Mm -hmm. This one, I always see this in Tumon, attacking the runners. Oh, maybe I don't get it. Maybe I pressed too much. But they have some birds and this is some displays of how they look. There's even a, a bat that's also in this reserve. I've actually heard of stories of people eating bat here on Guam, you know. I'm not sure if it's whatever, but there is. And then they have all these aqua life that you could find. And there's cool spondyluses and stuff. These are actually what uh, the locals make uh, sanais with. You know, these type of shells. And then I don't know what this is. Oh, it's real fish. No, oh, that's gnarly. These angler fishes, you'll find them in the Marianas Trench. These are the scary ones. These are the ones that you find really deep down in Marianas Trench and the viper fish. This is crazy seeing them in real life. It's cool. And oh, here you go, Mariana Trench. This is why Guam is kind of protected from the tsunamis. We won't get it just because of that. That's what we're told, you know. But uh, oh look at this, dude! There's a baby turtle. 
Finally. So it's a very interesting little museum pop up here that they have. It's a conservation like refuge for the Retidian. And there's all these cool stuff. And all these vintage posters that I used to see all over uh, like uh, Guam, especially at the fish markets. Look at that. And more types of shells and they tell you what they're, they are classified as. And then beautiful weavings and uh, galaiti. But this is actually, oh there used to be like a village here. Oh there it is. I think this is the one that uh, Guam were protesting to kind of like push off the military since they're doing some like explosive detonations. At this area, this very vintage heritage area called uh, Lixan. Can't pronounce it, my apologies. Hey, how do you play chonka? So we have this also in Philippines. But it's called sunka, and in Guam it's called chonka. Interesting. So it's a um, very vintage. Ooh, the rhino beetle. This is the one that's eating all the coconut trees in Guam. But in Malaysia and I think in certain places of Thailand, they like to eat that, the larva. That's a very uh, delicacy. And some marine debris and more. Beautiful shells, really beautiful shells. And I've seen this at the Yoji stuff. And of course, crustaceans. And of course, the Marion Islands. Right here, Sinamai, Guam, all that stuff. This is interesting. And they even have uh, like insects, uh, butterflies, and bees, and hornets, and beetles that you can find here in Guam, I'm pretty sure. Moths. And we see the, we saw these earlier. And this one. And of course, more history about you know Guam and this uh, this area here. Does it work? No. Is that your bottle? Mm -hmm. Someone left her bottle. Oh. Cool. All right. Well, look at this. That's and of course, uh, sea glass. But yeah, guys, this is the conservation uh, office slash uh, center. This is where we're at right now. And we're going to have to take this road all the way down to... There's also... Yeah. This is... Yeah. When we're going down this road, I saw a cave like around here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There it is. But I think it's protected. Oh. I think this, these are the caves that are... The trails? Needed. Also, this one is much nearer to where we are right now. If you want to go, go for a hike, they blacked out this. I guess that's cut off now. There's also a lot of these like, Oh, Laddie, Laddie stones. Yeah, Laddie stones. Also a Spanish stone wall. Wow. Yeah, we could also... I mean, this is the beach area. Mm. This is the access. Probably take... So yeah, this is the nature uh, reserve here. Uh, nature center here in Retinian Jigo. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one. We're going to go ahead and show you more of Retinian. Let's go! So you can go for a trail walk. There's a lot of trails here that can lead you to all these cool sites and caves. Uh, you could park here or you can go in this way. Danger! People have drowned here. And then over here is where you can park to go to the beach access. A little more down, there is some access points there and caves and more, but we're not going there today. We're just gonna go check out the beach. Just over there is the nature center. And then of course the road here is pretty rough. Yeah, pretty rough. Uh, you can park here as all the other tourists have and then you're gonna take this little nature path straight into the beach. There's also some cool stuff you can take photos over there with, like little photo stuff. We'll go ahead and show you the area. As you know me, I like showing you these virtual tours. Thank you for joining me on my first time here in Retidian Beach. So if you can see all the way over there, there's also some cool caves. Uh, like I said, uh, you come here, do a lot of uh, trails, uh, little light, uh, light hikes 
to check out the caves and all these cool sites that they have here. And of course, you have the cool uh, stuff for the tourists. I'm cool with the cocoa birds. We love Guam sea turtles. So either way, these paths over here will lead you towards the beach that you could also check out. So uh, this is more of the mainly the part that a lot of people are at for the beach. <laughs> There's a tree over here. It's called uh, Gagu. And Filipino means stupid. Ironic. All right, so as you can see, uh, this place is actually really busy on the weekends, but there's also tourists out here and about enjoying their uh, their trip, you know. And again, you could take these trails. Uh, each each one will kind of still lead you towards the beach. I think I chose the one that is more uh, taken, not the road of shallow, but there is some places there that you could also chill at. You know, just have a little park uh, getaway with your friends and family. I do recommend this. Again, this is my first time here. Uh, of course, I've seen it all throughout my life because I've lived here on Guam. But it's ironic that only now, uh, out of all my life living here, I finally uh, came and visited uh, Rotidian Beach. Uh, here it is. Very beautiful. I can really feel how soft the sand is on my feet. And also you can hear the waves crashing it's 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 kind of weird that like this is a little secret getaway but only only tourists you see here i think i'm the only local here look at that very cool All right, we got our little beach set up ready. I'm gonna go ahead and walk down, show you Rotidian Beach. All these beautiful trees with the uh, tons of butterflies. It's majestic, man. And also uh, more touristy over there in that area. But over here, it's like secluded, you know? And there's some cool sights. I'm gonna take this off. The sand also, I can't stress this sand here. There's not like sharp coral or random trash. It is pristine. This is one of the pristine beaches that I would say here on Guam. It's pretty cool, man. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of walk this beach before I uh, go in for a dip and swim. But yeah, it feels like I'm not on Guam. Look at this beach. Very majestic. I mean, you can see the trails from, uh, I guess, I guess nature preserve officers uh, they take a 4 y 4 and they drive through this beach but uh, man oh man <laughs> I'm just walking and I'm still like pretty stoked my first time here in Rintiti and I don't know why it took me this long to ever come visit here or go for an adventure and try to check it out but look at that beautiful it looks like there's some stuff over there I'm not sure what that is like uh, I'm not so sure. Like a wall, preserve. Ah. It's pretty dark over there. The sun's coming out over here, but it's pretty cool. So yeah, uh, here in Guam, this Retinian beach is located in the Northern part of Guam. Uh, Gigo, Y-I-G-O, Zigo. It's here in Gigo. That's pretty cool. Like you could hear the ocean crashing on the shore. Look at that. I can't stress how untouched. Look at that. Even when I step, it's so soft. Look at that. Look at my heels. They dig into the sand. Woo! Oh wow. This water on my feet feels so good. It's like cold, but like it's warm out, so it's the perfect combination of what you want to see in the beach. It looks like there's some people there walking. I'm not so sure what it is, but there's some stuff over there. We'll go ahead and check that out. Wild. So I guess this is not where people are much allowed to swim at. I'm not so sure. Just because there's a sea turtle nesting area. So I guess the sea turtles, you know, they come over here and they plant their eggs. And I guess when the eggs are ready and hatched, the little baby turtles crawl back in, you know, cycle of life. So I guess these little poles indicate that this is where 
uh, turtles are actually, uh, you know, nesting. Interesting, very interesting. Sea turtle nesting area. We're gonna keep going down. I think there's also a sign that says uh, no swimming right there, but look at this. I don't wanna walk over there. I'm pretty sure it's gonna get cave in, but you can see that is beautiful, man. This is cool, dude. Yeah, so, okay, the sign, the sign actually said no, say, it says no swimming. So I guess in this part of the of Retidian Beach, uh, you're not allowed to swim at. Very interesting. I guess because there's also like, you know, turtles. There's another trail that leads you over. This is probably the nature reserve, but yeah, there's some, I guess, I'm not what the, sure what that is. Like structure, this look like probably a, a way there. But yeah, so this area part of Retidian, you're not allowed to swim. But again, if you wanted to do a, a cool nature walk or beach walk, I totally recommend Retinian Beach here in Jigo. Whew. This whole area here, I guess it's the nesting spot for the turtles. And you're not allowed to swim. So I just came from the right side, which is more towards the nature center where they have the sea, the sea turtles nesting area. Now we're gonna go check out the left side of Retidian Beach. I'm panting because I was running and it's a great run here too, man. Like the sand, I'm running barefoot. No worries. Beautiful sand, very soft. Woo. So I know this beach goes all the way and there's all these trails that lead you into the beach. But I think only certain spots here are allowed to swim at since the one on the right side has like no swimming uh, sign posted. Whew. This is pretty cool. It's kind of dark on that area. It's hot, the sun's coming out, but it's cool. This part's kind of cool. I think there's a dude over there with a, a spear. I think he's spear fishing. That's interesting. I'm not so sure you're supposed to fish here, but maybe there's like a allowance for what types of fish you can get and not get. But yeah, this beach, it goes. And also, like I keep saying, there's all these trees with butterflies pollinating. Very cool. It's majestic as well. Whoa, gnarly. Whoa, it's wild. So the left side goes, man. And I guess the swimming's still allowed all the way over there. Cool. Look at this. There's a lot of crabs on the beach, that's cool. I think there's like a little skipper fisher boat over there but also there he is you could also stand there and fish I'm not how, not really sure how he got there but there's a fisher guy all the way over there i think the route is through there and i think he just walked it maybe i'll try to get over there on the shoreline of this beach there's also a little wood wooden benches that i guess people made and yeah, the sun's coming out, that's cool. This is cool right here. There's this tree filled with these butterflies. You know, I mean, all of them have butterflies. I'm not sure, I might, I might go for a walk, but look at that, very cool. Cool. All right, so they built some cool places where you could chill with your fam bam and have like a little nice nature walk. And of course, uh, think. It's a nice place here at Retidian. Uh, it's a shame that I've never been here until now. This is a really nice spot. Uh, this is one of the trails leading towards the beach. I'm just going through it, checking them out, uh, documenting this, you know, 
first time here see and then it leads you out to the parking all right i showed you the left side of retidian beach i showed you the right side of retidian beach now let's go take a dip in that beautiful pristine clear water i'm using my water case for this gopro not sure if you could hear me it's cold cold the water is cold There's a strong current, so rip currents may occur. The current is gonna pull, push you. Afraid that there might be some eels, you know, take a chunk out of my skin here. Who knows? Let's go. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks huh? like there is also some lobster that passed through here. And these are oh well, these are crab uh, holes. What is that? Her hermit crab? <laughs> I I'm in the mall. Hi, come on, come on. Hermit. No, nope. just feels weird on your hand. <laughs> feels weird? Oh, he's smiling. <laughs> Look, he's posing for the camera. Say cheese! <laughs> <laughs> it's blowing pretty hard this wind. There's a storm coming. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for watching. Thanks. I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this virtual tour of what there is to do in this area in Retinian Beach and the Nature Center. And also, me experiencing my first time here. Thank you for watching. Like the video if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And comment down below what you think. <laughs> my name is Mark. Peace. I'm out. <laughs>